We appreciate your comments and your feedback. Yes, even when it's a what a useless video, we improve in every step and this is why we are going to talk about this watt meter. So stick with us if you want to see it in action, to know more about watts, kilowatt hours and tips on how to save electricity. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go! A watt meter is a device that measures the power consumption of an electric appliance that is connected to it. Most watt meters can also give you a projection of costs. You can use it to check if the appliance consumes the amount of power that is stated on the device or if we want to check how much power is consumed by a few of them. As an example, let's take this PC and those two monitors. Plug all of them to the same outlet and measure the power consumption. This way you can find out if your appliance works properly and efficiently as it's supposed to. As you know, you should always check the user manual and read the safety instructions before turning the device on. Maybe it's damaged or does not support the input voltage. This model is the Orwat 419 from Orno. It has one LCD screen, two buttons, mode and up with which you can switch between the measurements and enter the price per kilowatt hours in euros. The reset button is for full reset and you need something like a pen to access it. This version has a French type socket and plug. At the front we can see a ground pin. At the back we can see the two round pins with a diameter of 4.88 mm and 90 mm between them, with a maximum rating current of 16 amps. If we take a look at the specifications we can see that the maximum load is 3680 watts. It has an IP rating of 20, so we know that we can use it only indoors and do not let the water touch it. It has the CE, not the China export marking and safety category 2, which is okay to be used with single phase AC loads and house appliances. For more detailed information, visit our website TME EU. But stay with us if you want to see how it works, some tips on how to save energy and what is the difference between kilowatt hours and watts. Ok, finally let's plug it in. By pressing the mode button we look through the different measurements. So the first measurement is the instantaneous power in watts. Then we have the voltage. Then we have the total power in kilowatt hours so far. Oh, and here is the total price of what you have to pay. And the last one is not a measurement but the price in kilowatt hours in euros. To set the price you first go and check how much your supplier charges you for kilowatt hour. Here in Poland, we set it to 0.13 euros as an average price for 2021. To do so, hold the mode button for about 3 seconds, then use the up button to set the digits from 0 to 9 and once again mode button to change the position. As an example, we have plugged this regular laptop for about 3 days on standby. What it means is that we didn't use it for any work, it was there doing nothing. At standby mode, it consumes 0.65 kilowatt hours, which means we paid 0.08 euros for nothing. And this is only a laptop. For sure, there are other appliances around your house that do the same. Watt is a unit of power. How much energy is used per amount of time? From the SI standards, one watt is equal to one joule per second. So, one kilowatt hour equals to 1,000 watt hours, which is equal to 1000 joules per second times 3600 seconds, which equals 3,600,000 joules. As you can see, I enjoy chocolate bars and they are the perfect example. This chocolate bar has about 400,000 joules. Damn, that's a lot, but it's tasty and if I will eat this, I will have this amount of energy or fat. So I can use this energy for a lot of different activities, like watching videos on the TME channel, using my brain and uh, yeah, for physical activities. All of them require energy but consume it slower or faster. In other words, some activities require more power than others, just like the appliances at your home. You buy from your supplier a battery of 3,600,000 joules. You use an LED light bulb that consumes 10 joules per second. For how long you can power your LED before the battery is dead? You see, that's the point, it becomes very messy. 3,600,000 joules is 1 kilowatt hour. You use 10 watts for your LED light bulb. It can be on for 100 hours and you will pay for it 13 cents. It's much easier and clearer. By the way, 10 watt LED light bulbs are powerful and provide as much luminosity as 60 watt incandescent light bulbs. How do I know? Agnieszka told me. Check her video right there. 
If you want to save some money from your next electricity bill, there are a few things that you can do. If you still use incandescent light bulbs, switch to LEDs. There are a lot of benefits to LEDs over regular light bulbs. To show how the wattmeter works, we plugged a laptop on a standby mode. This has a special term – phantom loads, also known as vampire loads. By yourself you understand that for a short time it's nothing. But add to it a microwave, a TV, another desktop computer, security system, dishwasher… And in a year it can add up to… a lot of money. For nothing. So unplug the charger if you are not charging your phone, unplug those other devices and save energy. One more tip is to use less electricity during peak times. Those are usually in the morning when everyone wakes up and in the evening when everyone comes back from work. If you have this kind of plan with your supplier, try not to turn on the dishwasher or any other unnecessary electric appliances when the electricity costs you double the price. Of course, there are more ways to save electricity, but we want to hear you. Leave us a comment on how you do it or maybe you just have a question. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.